quick. Somebody, I put up a post and it said, you know, women who be like, don't depend on a man for nothing. And it said, no, sis, you don't depend on your man. My man come through. And so many women, especially black women, were bothered and felt the need to DM me in regards to them feeling like you wrong if you depend on a man for anything. But that's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be able to depend on the person that you were in a relationship with. Imagine giving yourself physically to someone, but you can't depend on them. Now, I'd like it better if someone said, I can't depend on my dude, but to say I can't depend on any dude is insane to me. Because your dude's not doing what he's supposed to do for you. You shouldn't even be with somebody that you can't depend on. You shouldn't even be in a relationship with somebody you can't depend on. You shouldn't be entertaining a man that you can't depend on. Now, it's not saying that you can't do for yourself. It's not saying you shouldn't be able to take care of yourself. It's saying that you should also be able to depend on that man. You know how backwards that is? I'm going to sleep with you every night, but I ain't going to ask you. But, I, but I'm not going, you know, I'm not going to depend on you for anything. That's great. If you're in a full committed relationship, uh, uh, an engagement or a marriage, a long-term relationship, you should be able to depend on your spouse. And the idea that you think you shouldn't have to because you could do it yourself. Nobody never said you can't do it yourself. But the fact that you would let someone be inside of your body that you can't depend on is insane to me. And women get offended when I say things like this because those are the women who allow a man to be all up in their bedroom, all up in their house, cooking him food, cleaning for him, or even not doing that but can't depend on him. I don't want to entertain any man that I'm, if I'm in a full relationship with you, that I can't depend on you. Why are we entertaining each other in this way? So when women have this idea that they're stronger because they're independent, no, you're weaker because you can't be vulnerable enough to allow someone else the space to depend on them. And it's always, and please don't get me, please don't, I don't want anybody to be offended when I say this, but it's always African-American women. It's always an African-American woman who feels like, I don't need a man for shit. You know, if you, if you keep that mindset, you grow up and you teach your sons that. Like, your sons are listening to you say, I don't need a man for shit. Your daughters are listening to you say, I don't need a man for shit. And then we wonder why we grow up in the generations and relationships and monogamy here is getting worse and worse because we're teaching our children that there is no value from the man that we call king. We don't need you. Don't depend on nobody for nothing. No, you have to depend on someone for something. And if it's not going to be the person you laying up with, then who else? Because that man sure in hell depend on you. Come on, ladies. I don't... It's always African... It's always an African-American woman who want to come in my DMs. It's always an African-American woman who want to come on... And I'm again, I'm not knocking African-American women. I'm saying it lets me know what the culture is teaching us. It, let me, it lets me know how society is failing the African-American women when they have convinced you that you don't need the African-American man to do shit for you. And then we question why men treat us like we, we don't have value. And then we question why men do this to us and why they're not this for us and why we can't depend. Because you, are, you are, have this concept that you don't need them. Imagine being a six-year-old, seven-year-old kid hearing your mother constantly say, I don't need a man for shit. Like, I'm going to grow up to be a man, Mom. I'm going to grow up to be someone's husband, someone's, someone's father, someone's boyfriend. And that, you mean to tell me that that woman don't need me for shit? Then I'm going to grow up. And, you know, that dictates my life. So I'm tired of women feeling like and, and verbally saying out loud, be independent. You don't need a man for shit. Why can't you be both? 
Like, why can't you be independent and be able to take care of yourself while still depending on that man to be a man? You know, everybody has a need. Everyone in this world needs to feel wanted, needs to feel appreciated. They want to feel necessary. And as an African-American man in this world, society is already against these men. And now the women are telling the men, we don't need you. I could do it all by myself. Stop thinking that. Yes. 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 You could say something. I just feel like what you're saying is, can I say it? Yeah. You have a valid point, but at the end of the day, there are men who treat black women as if we're not, as if they don't need us. So yeah, they, and there so, are men. So, 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 this is Casey in the so, car, guys. So when black women do say certain things like, you know, we don't need you anywhere, when, when they say something like that, it, it, you know, it's always something that, you know, it, it, it goes both ways. Right. Black men need black women and black, like just people need each other. But that's the, that, but then the, 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 the idea behind that is that we have to start accepting when we're wrong and we have to start accepting when we're taught wrong and we have to start accepting when society or start, or start to not accept when society pushes us against each other. So just because you do something doesn't give me the right to do it back. It's still wrong. Regardless of who did it first, if a, if a black woman tells a black man, I don't need you, and a black man tells a black, you know, a woman, I don't need you, you I don't need you to cook for me, I cook for myself, you can be independent and still depend on each other. It, regardless of who does it first, it harms all of us. It harms all of us. And I'm tired of people feeling like a woman who depends on her man is weak. There are still women who are stay-at-home moms, stay-at-home wives, who have nothing but the utmost respect from their spouse because staying at home is a job. Staying at home is a job. Anybody who's ever been a stay-at-home mom or a wife, that is a job. You have a job to do every day. Because stay-at-home women who don't work are expected to have breakfast done. You know, they're expected for the house to be clean. They're expected for this to be this way and this to be this way. Because that's what they chose. I don't want to get up every morning to go to work. I like to just stay home. She depends on her man. I don't like when women make me feel bad. Like, okay, so there's, I have my, uh, my, my Facebook uh, fan page, right? And I posted that flyer up, that meme on my Facebook fan page, right? And somebody said, you need to depend on God first because for all you know, there's four other women depending on your man. And what bothered me was it was a man who said that. It wasn't even a woman. It was a man who said, you need to depend on God first and not no man because for all you know, that man got four other women depending on him. Let me tell you something. I'm still new into my relationship, but I will praise whomever, however, immediately. I don't wait to show someone appreciation because it's not on your timeline. I don't wait to tell somebody I care about them and I appreciate what they do and to praise them for being a good person because someone on my timeline thinks it's too early. Somebody said, you praise that man too much too soon. I said, so when should I praise him? When he on his way out the door like a lot of y'all women do? Like a lot of y'all men do. Y'all wait till your woman is on her way out the door and she don't want to be with you no more. And now you want to love her. And now you want to bring her flowers. And now you want to take her on dates. And now you want to do things for her when it's too late. So when do you stop to appreciate someone? When do you stop to appreciate someone who's good to you? When do you praise someone's good behavior to you? When? So a, a stranger could open the door for me and they expect me to say thank you immediately, but someone who, who I spend a lot of my time with, I should wait to appreciate them because they could be trash, because they could not be a good person. But what if they are a good person? Some of the standards and the guides that a lot of people live their life by is terrible. I'm not going to show my man appreciation until we together for a year. You going to lose. He going to be on his way out the door when that year start. People crazy. You talk to somebody, you love somebody, you care about somebody. They should know that regularly. 
not on Valentine's Day or on Christmas or that once a year. They should know regularly that you care. And it's whatever form you feel like showing. It could be social media. It could be through a gift. It could be hugs. It could be words of kindness. Whatever way you feel like showing. But you should definitely do that. And not for people who, who say, you post your man up every week. And I'm going to post a motherfucker up next week too. I might fuck around and post him twice this week. That's the way I show love. You don't like it, unfollow. But that's what I do. And every single time, whether I post him or tell him or talk to him, he feels appreciated. There's so many men and women out there who don't feel appreciated because a lot of people in relationships are leading their relationships by society standards. Society ain't in a relationship. Society is not in your relationship. When you get into a relationship and you get into a marriage, that is your relationship, that is your marriage, and you do what the both of you need to do for that to be well. Stop worrying about what everybody else is doing and whether they're going to agree or, or, or think what you're doing is too much or not enough. It ain't up to everybody else. Everybody's not in that relationship. You are. So if you want to post your man 80 times a day, then you post your man. If, if you post him 80 times a day and 80 times a day he texts you or he look up and smile because he like that shit, then you keep doing it. Half the people who got something to say are either single or, or are in terrible or are, are single, not are single because they finally left the, the bad person. Ooh, come on, man. Hold on, guys. People be speeding, backing out of their parking spots. And they don't be looking behind them or nothing. They just fall back out their parking spot. Don't look behind them or nothing. Just... Arr, arr, arr. Yeah. Who's in the gym? What gym? The one that you go to. What gym did I go to? That's called the training something. Yeah, but you know how much that costs to go there? No. I haven't gone to that gym. That gym is expensive. I, and it's not a regular gym. It's a personal training gym. That's what it's for. They don't have regular stuff. You have to have a trainer to go there. You're trained, you have to be training with somebody that, that works there. Do you have a mask? You don't want to go in? I don't have any. I didn't get the thing to return. Why? Because he didn't have the receipt. So I said, okay. Are you coming or not? No, I thought you were just going. I only came with you going to return. No. I'm going to be quick because you got to get to the phone. I'm going to leave the air on. Do you want this to know? You're making this really complicated. Okay. All right. Oh, there we go, Belize and Barry. They married. A lot of women who and men who have something negative to say be unhappily married. Just miserable. Um, oh, so cute. Just miserable in their lives. Miserable in their marriages. Miserable with anything that's going on. They hate themselves. They hate their spouse. They don't want to leave. They don't have nowhere to go. And they just sit online and take everything that someone else says to heart because it's true about their life. Hi, welcome. Hi. Because it's true about their life, they get offended by everything. All right, I got to go, guys. Bye. All right, welcome.